Today, I'm gonna to tell you what people love and what people hate about living in Northern Kentucky. What are the pros and what are the cons that come with living in the Northern Kentucky area? Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Cameron Barons with the Barons team. I'm a lifelong resident and local realtor that specializes in the Northern Kentucky area. And today I wanna to go over the pros and the cons that you need to consider when living in Northern Kentucky. I've lived in Northern Kentucky for over 30 years now. I went to school here, I work here, I even raised my family here. So I've got to see it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to living in the Northern Kentucky area. So today I wanted to go over not just all of the great reasons why I think you should live here, but also disclose some of the potential negatives when you're thinking about living in the Northern Kentucky area. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So kicking things off at con number one, the weather. Our weather can vary greatly even on a daily basis. Just this morning alone, it started off in the 20s and then we're supposed to get up to almost 60 degrees in the evening. And it's not uncommon that on a Monday we can have snow and then by Wednesday, we're up at 70 degrees. And of course, this would be in the winter, but our weather, depending on the time of year, can vary day to day, even in morning to evening. And this can make things pretty frustrating if you're trying to make plans for the week. Maybe it's looking like it's gonna be nice one day and then really cold the next day. It can make things a little frustrating and it's just something you wanna be aware of. We're, there's a, a running joke in our area that we don't have four seasons, we have 12, and I'll put the graph right here, that we've got 12 seasons that we get, not just your typical four, and that can make things a little bit stressful. But this con, could be perceived as a pro because we do get the full four seasons. So we get the nice, beautiful weather and flowers in the spring. Then in the summer, we get the hot, but not too hot weather that makes great for outdoor activities and swimming. Then into the autumn, we get all of the color changing of the leaves, great weather for campfires, hanging out outside, perfect weather to throw on your favorite hoodie and some jeans. And then lastly, in the winter, we get just cold enough weather to enjoy some fun in the snow, but not cold enough that you need to dress like an Eskimo all winter long. And then something else that people perceive as a con is our area doesn't typically have as large of economic and housing booms like other areas of the country. When you hear, especially over the past couple of years, how you've heard of areas of the country with tons of economic growth and housing appreciation constantly at 20% or more, our area doesn't typically see that much growth in that aspect. But flipping this one to a pro is I've lived here my whole life and the one thing that I've noticed is we don't see those crazy appreciation numbers or those crazy economic booms, but the way this can be looked at as a pro is we don't see as much of a swing the other direction either. So when other areas are having more of uh, econo economies that are receding or maybe home prices are going down, we stay kind of steady. It's like we're not like a roller coaster that has really high highs and then really low lows. We're more like the, the kiddie coaster where it's just little ups and downs, nothing too crazy happening, which as someone that's lived here my whole life, I've been perfectly okay with that. We're also not dependent on outside money as much for our economy. We don't have a big tourist area. It's not like we're a vacation destination. So if there are hard economic times, we're not really getting hit as hard because we weren't counting on it to begin with. And bringing us to our next pro, just because we're not a large tourist destination doesn't mean you're gonna be bored living in Northern Kentucky. There's no shortage of fun things to do for entertainment in our area. For example, right across the river in Cincinnati, we have three professional sports teams, the Cincinnati Reds, Cincinnati Bengals, and the FC Cincinnati Soccer Club. And then we have festivals going on almost year round in our area, whether again, it's on our side of the river in Kentucky or right across the river in Cincinnati. We have the Flying Pig Marathon that lasts all weekend. We have Reds opening day parade. We have Geta Fests down at Newport on the levee. They're constantly having live events. And then down in Main Strauss, there's no shortage of activities to do as well. And then another pro that I love to brag on about our area is our medical community. At the top of that list being Cincinnati Children's Hospital. This is a hospital that I have personally experienced with our children and it's one of the top five and usually ranked in the top three in the entire country for children's hospitals. There are actually many people that come from other states just to bring their kids to our hospital and it's something we're very grateful for that we have this here locally and because of it being such 
a great hospital, high ranking hospital. It's a very desirable place for people in the medical field to actually want to come and work and live in our area. And lastly, my favorite thing on this list, a big town with a small town feel. We are literally right across the river from Cincinnati, Ohio and home to the CVG airport. So we have lots of the benefits of living in a major city. We have plenty of job growth. We have the major airport I mentioned, and we have no shortage of dining and entertainment, but we also don't have that hustle and bustle feeling that typically comes with living in the city. You can be in downtown Cincinnati in a little over 30 minutes, be hiking in the woods at Big Bone Lick State Park, just away from it all. And that's one of my favorite things about this area is that small town feel, but a lot of the benefits of a big city. So it's kind of a funny thing in our area. If somebody asks, where'd you go to school at? They typically don't mean, where did you go to college at? They meant, where did you go to high school at? Because even if you're not from this area, it's just such a warm small town feel that they just kind of imply like, oh, hey, yeah, where did you go to high school at? But they usually just say school. So it truly is one of the great things about living in Northern Kentucky is you get all of those benefits of living in a major city, but you get that warm hometown feeling. All right, guys, so if you have any questions about something that I missed or you want me to elaborate on something more, make sure to drop it in the comments below or reach out to us directly. And if you have any questions about the Northern Kentucky area, neighborhoods, schools, and of course housing, feel free to give us a call or shoot us a text at 859-663-8464. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, if you're thinking about making a move in or around the Northern Kentucky area, reach out to the Barons team today. We'd love to help and we look forward to talking to you soon.